The governor talked about furloughs and about state employees. And he often talks, and others talk, about running the state like a business. You want to run the state like a business, you sit down and you talk to your employees about where to gain the cost savings. The governor refuses to do so. And we are not, as a legislature, going to contravene the law that's been in existence for decades in this state and make unilateral wage cuts without the governor sitting down and talking to the employees. And why does it matter? When the governor acted unilaterally to impose three days of furloughs, the Franchise Tax Board has told us that between February 2009 and June 2010, they will not collect $652 million worth of taxes while they save $60 million worth of salaries. Now, I do the math here. That's $600 million that could be avoided right off the top in cuts to health and human services.